once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Yes.
brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Inanna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... The wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied- The evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there.
Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I'm glad we had these. I'm not a fan of desert critters. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Draw me as a superhero? Like striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. Oh, it's so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. We better get out of here before that heat comes in. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. God damn, that food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Yep, still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. I hope we could go.
go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. saw my falling stars or any <laughs> hey we saw the Milky Way dude how cool is that yeah that's true and Mars that was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope yeah these guys are real cool Sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power up here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, Oh, uh, good question. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. I wish I had the power to fly. It'd be such a short hike. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. Oh, oh! oh man, so many wolves in this desert. <laughs> It's gonna take a couple of hours to get back. Time to go.
You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while, okay? Oh, shit. Ooh, look, look. Oh, man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Easy peas. <laughs> nice man. see what Joanne is doing. Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Nice mess. <laughs> Tenu will never change. Still can't believe she's kept it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping.
She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York.
Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Glad they're back on track. Hmm. I'll always have a crew out there. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <laughs> oh, 
Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. <sighs> Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. <laughs> Maybe they were nerds together. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her, but so glad to see Lila's back. Whoa, I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Lila always knew how to crack me up.
One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Um, more like no service anywhere. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Guess people came here with ease and never left. <laughs> Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. I should bring the telescope back to art and stand before I forget. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. There's power cuts all the time here, but 
no one's really bothered by it. This is such a weird fucking place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. Excuse me, water boy. <sighs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I can grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert.
Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. I hope the UFOs are listening. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Now that's some real patriots. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. <sighs> I could get used to that scenery. I should bring the telescope back to Arden stand before I forget. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. They're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor.
Too bad there's nobody my age here. Huh. But this is where people come to get old. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. I can you'll be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So... Don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. Oh, I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird... Hey, Sean! What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. <sighs> I 
I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. <laughs> Except I don't see myself as an artist. It's more like therapy. <laughs> Whatever works. I just want you to think about it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Or your drawings. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. No. Go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man, I thought my art was weird. Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a ball. Ready, Sean? Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See, Sean. bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. Don't think too much, Sean. First thought, best thought. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? Sean is about to show you, Daniel. Keep watching. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet! You're 
too far from the original. Yo, can you turn that, that, uh, spider thingy around? You got it. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? There he goes! What do I do? Hey, nope, nope, no, ah. Uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. Watch this. Okay. Be careful, Daniel. Earth out. Don't want you to get hurt. Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. Check it out! <laughs> Don't break the earth, just put it there softly. Check it out! Do like the model, but with the spider on top. Uh, can you can you please take it off? Summon the Spider Queen. You got it. Let's try this piece. See, Sean. Activate. Pancake head. Sweet. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? Watch this. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? There he goes! <laughs> Just like half a turn. Totally! <laughs> Spin that pancake! 
Spin! Check it out! <laughs> now, turn that small one. See, Just follow your vision. Off with Mr. Pancake's head. There he goes. <laughs> okay, remove this one. Yeah, take off that spider thing. Watch this. Can you add that one? You got it. Put... This one on. See, Sean. Can you add that one? There he goes. Let's get rid of this piece. Watch this. Mm, can you take that one off? Check it out. Put uh, this one on. You got it. Turn the spider, please. Totally. <laughs> Let's turn it a little. Sweet. Let's try this piece. Totally. <laughs> I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. <laughs> what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. 
That's cool Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Worried politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Karen letting us invade her space after all these years. That's something. <laughs> Super Wolf to LDS Glow Loco. Copy. I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest? to find my secret treasure? Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many winds that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. You're warming up! Not too far! Getting warm! You're lost, Sean. <sighs> You're in the middle zone. You're way out there, dude. Not too far. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Now you're totally frozen. Dude, you're a snowman. Nope, as cold as ever. Getting closer. You're warming up. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Dude, you're a snowman. You're way out there, dude. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yeah. 
Cap, let's make it happen. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. I know. What was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. I'm hitting the item under the building that loves the wind. Getting warm? Not too far. You're warming up. Warm. Getting closer. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Getting warm? Hmm. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Warm. Not too far. Ah, uh, it burns. <laughs> Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it! 
I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Storm! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on, dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. <laughs> 